I haven't done that great of keeping up with my day-to-day -day stuff, my day-to-day -day activities, but might as well start now. Better late than never. About to get home. It's about probably close to 11 o'clock now. Just had our first night of hackathoning. It was great. I uh, proposed an idea of a motion sensor, or well, accelerometer, so hand movement, and then gyroscope, so hand uh, positioning. Hold on. Okay, I had started some laundry earlier in Connor's room, but then the dryers were all full when I wanted to do it earlier, so I'm going to come back down here in a second, fixing my shoe at the moment. Anyways, yeah, I had a great night. Uh, I proposed an idea of this. You can kind of think of it as a uh, violin hero based on guitar hero, but there's many different things that we could do with it. Uh, improving on it and just making sounds. And Anyways, if you want to see a video of something similar, you can go find Mama Jean Heath's uh, gloves, which are very similar, if not the exact same more advanced product that we're trying to build, but no one said it has to be totally unique, so I think it's going to be fun. Um, we're using the Arduino, and uh, it's actually not all that different from the laser harp that Jason and I built with the uh, Basis 2 board a year and a half ago or so. Um, so yeah, so I'm glad I'm getting kind of into a music project. For a second, nobody nobody really voted for my project. Some people did, but I didn't get nearly as many votes as others. But a lot of them were just weren't even related to art. So this was a, this is a STEAM hackathon, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. So every the idea is they wanted to be more art related versus purely technical, especially like the one last weekend was with the machine learning. So I presented it, and I don't, it got a few votes, but not as many as some of the others. But I think just because it was art-related, they chose it anyways. Anyways, I got a pretty good team. Uh, one guy, two guys that are sort, one guy that's very technical, one guy that's partially technical but musical, and then a few girls that are uh, business, design, and arts and stuff. But yeah, I think I mean we got a great team, very well-rounded. Um, and I was, I'm actually pretty excited because they made teams huge. I mean, so there's 10 teams upwards of, I mean, we probably have seven, and we had a few migrate over, so originally we had five, but, I mean, there are some of the teams with at least eight, upwards of maybe nine, I mean, there were some that wanted to have up close to 10 or so. Now, at that point, five people are going to be working on stuff, and the other five are going to be sitting around gathering dust, so even if I liked the idea, I'd probably leave if I didn't have a interesting or even if I had an interesting idea I still need people to work with anyways I'm back here at Connor's about to finish up this laundry and then got another early morning tomorrow and all day good old weekends felt like I was getting a bit sick earlier but um, I think I'm fine I guess that about rounds it out we get uh, the Arduino has a the <clears throat> accelerometer and gyroscope built in so I think this aspect of it is going to be super easy. Uh, one of the, the guy that the new guy that showed up says he has a, a uh, ultrasonic sensor, so we can do stuff that's if the ultrasonic sensor sitting on the table. We can do stuff to where the it knows how far away the, your hand is from the table. And then I found some buttons that Intel is providing that look just like uh, Guitar Hero buttons. So if we put it on a thing like a violin. have like a thing where you push the buttons and play the, play the notes with the gesture of your hand so that could be pretty awesome all right well i'm gonna turn in here hopefully i'll get some more video tomorrow um but you know you never know